from Auto House of Naples. And in case you're actually looking to pick up some hot date on a Friday or Saturday or maybe even a Wednesday night, this would certainly be the car for you. With the same owner of over uh, 30 years now, I have a 1961 Chevrolet Corvette convertible and it's finished in an ermine white. And this car is actually number 43 of 10,939, which were produced and assembled of this year of 1960. Because obviously we build our cars the year before and uh, in September is when this car was actually built. And under uh, the hood, I'll get to in a second. On the interior, you have the beautiful red, which is also um, leather. And here we have a 350. It's a small block Chevy V8 engine, which is definitely enough to get everybody excited and uh, a lot of fun to drive. We do have a, I believe it's a four speed uh, manual transmission. There's your uh, badging here, which I love. The Corvette symbol, your nice uh, glass headlights. Chrome is basically perfect. Yes, we're not gonna win Pebble Beach. I'm not gonna act like we are, but uh, it does not mean that you're not gonna win and uh, feel proud at your local shows or driving uh, down maybe a strip at night with uh, your hot date, because I'm telling you, this could definitely win over some of the ladies' men. There's your uh, period correct tires, or, or uh, yes, your tires and uh, the nice wheels. I believe those are knockoff wheels, or they at least appear to be. And uh, the white walled uh, tires are definitely your period correct for that uh, year of 1961. Once again, there's the uh, V8 engine. It is a Chevy uh, small block, which is a 350 small block. The interior is as good as uh, you could probably ever expect it to be and want it to be. And what I'm holding my hands is actually an appraisal. And this was done on the car and it definitely gives out phenomenal information. It actually states uh, some facts about the car, which I will have online for you. Under here is your white soft top. That's good. Let me just, oh, there we go. And you can see it's proper, clean, tear-free, um, <clears throat> definitely nothing that would offend you and would certainly, once again, make you feel proud in regards to um, having this very, very, very you collectible also put this in there to protect the vehicle. back window, see? So it doesn't uh, rub and also the towel inside. Yes, so this way the Windows car is oh, yeah, nice. Speaker. And there's <laughs> the speakers. Maybe From if I had, <laughs> you know, if I had one thing I wanted to upgrade on this car, it looks as though it might be those. Uh, um, it just doesn't appear as though they are um, new speakers by any means, but it is. Uh, <laughs> It is still, at least it has speakers in the trunk. Here it has plenty of manual information. Once again, I did say I had an appraisal on the car. And All the manuals are here. Yeah, there's your manuals for the car. Some spare some, parts. Some spare parts as well. And of course, I believe I saw a car cover that was um, all this stuff will come with the car, of course, you know, the way how we get it. Yeah. The gentleman who owned this car took care of it, loved it dearly, and uh, really took pride in it and keeping it all together and covered, garage kept. She's definitely a trailer and garage queen. And here's your car cover. So, um... I'm going to take it out and test drive, but I'm also going to start the car up for you because I would like you to see the engine. All right, I'm gonna get it started up. One thing you'll notice is that there's no knocking in the engine, no smoking. It starts up fast and just as proper as it should. Good man. 
mention that we have a four-speed manual transmission here. 69,000, uh, it looks like 900, one second here, <laughs> there we go, 947 um, miles there on the odometer. I'm just gonna get out here on the street. So much fun to drive, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm the best at driving it, but at least uh, it's fun doing it. And I'm just going to shift it here. All right. Pretty simple, like I said, uh, for me. <clears throat> so I basically feel like anybody could drive it if I can. <laughs> but it is certainly... Um, easy to stay in the road a lot of times um, a lot of times when you're dealing with a, a car a classic car there a lot of play in the steering wheel it's hard to keep on the road it's hard to drive it's hard to shift that is not the case um, with this car at all um, it really makes you feel like you're in control and uh, makes it very step on it a little bit so we'll see how it does come on lots of torque huh? yeah no it's still got your Chevy uh, small block engine so it is a lot of fun um, I just yeah. want to make sure I'm being uh, respectful of the vehicle as well but it still looks like very easy to drive this wind does nothing for my hair <laughs> oh, it's the wind deflector on that also huh? yeah, that's how it was in the old days yeah. Everybody smoked in the 60s yeah. and 70s. <laughs> well, nothing I can smell anyhow. That would not make me a happy camper. 239-263-8500. This, How about a little faster? this is Marianne What's the phone number? Windblown. If you want the phone number, you know how to Google us too, right? 239-263-8500. Oh, still too fast? No, that's good. Go on the phone and it's under. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what should I say? <laughs> All right, 239, country code is 1, <laughs> 239, 263, 8500. Our website's autohousenaples.com. And uh, my name is Marianne. I will see you guys on the next one.